For quite some time now, I've had a problem where my fridge was warm while the freezer was cold. This was caused by major frost buildup on the evaporator coils. That's because the automatic defrost system wasn't working on this Gen Air fridge, resulting in a blocked air duct. And my initial workaround was to unplug the fridge once a week for about 12 hours to melt the ice. As you can imagine, this was extremely inconvenient. Luckily, I discovered a way to manually defrost this fridge, and that's called force defrost mode. What I'm going to show you in this short video will work on Gen Air as well as many Whirlpool, Kenmore, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana refrigerators. To force defrost this fridge, here's what to do. Start by holding down the door switch. Then press the refrigerator down button three times within 10 seconds. The display will show FD to indicate force defrost mode. Now press the refrigerator down button once to confirm and an S will be shown in the display. This stands for short defrost mode. You can press the refrigerator up button to change it to long defrost, which I highly suggest, especially if you have a lot of frost buildup. Now, press the refrigerator down button and the display will return to normal and the force defrost cycle starts. In the back of the fresh food section, the damper will close and the compressor will immediately shut off. I'm just doing this to show you the closed damper, but you don't have to take this cover off. At this point, just close the door, let the force defrost cycle finish and repeat as necessary later in the day. But keep in mind, this is only a temporary solution. On my fridge, I had to replace the main circuit board in order to get the auto defrost timer working again. I actually shot a tutorial for how to do that, but it will be published at another time. If force defrost mode doesn't work, there may be a problem with the heater coil or thermostat. I took a gamble and replaced the main circuit board first, which permanently fixed my warm fridge problem. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.